Welcome to fabulous Bombay, India, home to Bollywood, the world's largest film industry. I'm Simona Huja, and today we're taking a behind the scenes look on the set of My Bollywood Bride, a Hollywood Bollywood collaboration. Let's go check it out. Kashmira, tell us the story of My Bollywood Bride. Oh, wow. <laughs> my Bollywood Bride is written by my husband, Brad Listerman, and uh, I did put some inputs in it, like adding on to the Indianness of the script. Richard Martini helped us too. Uh, it's a story about an, an American who falls in love with an Indian girl and uh, chases her all the way to India doesn't chase her away, I mean, runs after her because she leaves him uh, stranded on a date and he doesn't know why she's left and by which time he realizes that he is in love with her and he goes to follow and comes to India and suddenly in Bombay starts looking around for her and sees her on a billboard and realizes she's a huge Bollywood star. This is also a little bit of the clash of different cultures. It's a romantic comedy and um, along with it there are two parallel love stories which is uh, one is uh, Jason's love story going with, with his bride, and there is my character, Bobby. I play a, um, an upcoming Bollywood star in the film. Uh, we've taken a little uh, cinematic liberty. We'll be shooting a film inside the film, which is uh, being shot in the film. So I hope you got, got that. So, uh, Cause it's, got, it's got that nice sort of really, uh, it's, got, it's got all the elements that a romantic comedy should have. The fish out of water element, it's got the romance, it's got a lot of humor surrounding it. Um, great writing, and I think it's a story whose whose premise is is very legitimate. Because it's just hilarious, isn't it? I mean, somebody falls in love, then wow, Bollywood actress. It's just Roman Holiday, guy falling in love with a princess, thinks she's a commoner. I mean, the the premise is very sort of universal. <laughs> So Brad, what's a guy like you doing at a place like this? Uh, I've come a long way from being a, an investment banker, having my own investment bank. And uh, <clears throat> after the, uh, the market dropped and we had the Enron scandals and everything else at home, I was rethinking about what I really wanted, what my passion was. I love film. And it just seemed like a natural translation for me after marrying uh, my wife, who is a Bollywood film star here, to go into filmmaking and put together my resources in Hollywood with hers and, and Bollywood. Is this your first collaboration with your husband? Yes, it is. Okay. Now tell me how... In business, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it has been influenced by Brad's real life experiences. He met me, he did know I was an actress, he didn't know how big or how small. And then when he came to India, initially he wanted to just see what's happening. He would come with me on the sets. And it was a complete culture shock for him. Uh, he was prepared to see India, but he had no idea what Bollywood was. I find, I find Bombay extremely hectic, but I'm also from L.A., so I'm used to that. Um, I also find it having a lot of diversity and, and beauty that you can't find anywhere else. Um, it's unfortunate a lot of my friends in the Western, uh, you know, in, in the States, don't really understand or know how much technology is here, modern buildings, uh, the culture of the people. I found in my own experiences in America that people didn't really know what Bollywood was. They, when I said, um, I work in Bollywood, I'm a Bollywood actress, they said, ha, what? That, that's a joke, right? What is Bollywood? Is it a word? And I wouldn't get offended. I was like, God, this is, they really don't know what Bollywood is. Mostly I found that people are really receptive for the idea of, of us making a Hollywood film here. The Indian people are a little tired of the Western media portraying 
Ripley's Believe It or Not type of uh, media and press coverage. When you only show that, people get sort of a skewed attitude about what's available here. Yeah, Brad has become more of an Indian now. <laughs> He's married an Indian actress. Actually, this is his story. Is this your story? Uh, loosely based, yeah, loosely based. Our story actually uh, was a little bit more like Sleepless in Seattle. Um, and uh, She's Got Mail, Kashmir actually found me on the internet. And we ended up becoming messenger buddies and we chatted constantly. Then one day, Cupid hit and we were talking every day, 24 hours, then by telephone and she flew in from India. And uh, we met and were married two days later in Las Vegas. And it's, a, it's such a big industry. It's the biggest film industry. There's Bollywood cinema where we have songs and dances, colorful people, sometimes all dramatic scenes. It has some of the elements of a Bollywood film, but not, I think, the like key ones. Like, for example, nobody breaks into song just for the sake of it. And we've tried to keep a certain amount of, you know, realism in the film. It's truly a, you know, a Hollywood, Bollywood production. So we did a lot of uh, workshop and rehearsals before um, we started shooting. So about for about a week, uh, we had readings with all the actors, uh, with the director, with the writer, and uh, it helped us uh, bond with one another. Something like that doesn't happen in a regular a mainstream Hindi film here. The story, to some extent, throws light on different cultural attitude in the two countries. And from that angle, there is an element of crossover filmmaking involved in this project, which is interesting. There are crossover movies where the effort is done by a particular area to make sure their product crosses over to the next. The word crossover has, has uh, become a little diluted because there's so many varied meanings and I don't really know what anyone means when they say crossover. Of course, Indian men, very crossover. <laughs> been really really amazing actually honestly because it's got so many elements it's got you know an Indian director an American uh, producer you've got actors coming from America I mean and the Indian local talent so it's been great and you know Rich Martini is somebody who's, who's written uh, part of the script he's also an associate producer then we've got John who's shooting it who's you know a Brit British guy who lives in America and I called um, Duncan Clark, who's uh, producing this, or one of the producers, and he said, well, I'm, you know, he said, I, I might have something for you. And he said, yeah, I've got a film in India. He said, are you interested? And uh, I said, well, you know, why not? Bollywood. Bollywood calling. I've got, uh, got 40 feet. I've got 40 feet. So you want to put the dancers in? It's almost like the old Busby Berkeley uh, musicals, what, what they do. I mean, it's very elaborate. Uh, dance sequences and the sets are incredible, the costumes. Um, what they do do here actually is that the, when you're shooting a dance sequence, the choreographer actually directs the whole process, so he actually takes over from the director. One, two, three!